lovely to be able to come and talk to you again today. I'm Mrs Pennington from the Joy Foundation and I've just been thinking about how you might be feeling today. Are you feeling happy? I've been thinking about what makes me feel happy. Going to the beach and seeing the sea makes me feel happy but I can't do that at the moment. Seeing my friends makes me feel happy but I can't do that at the moment either. So I was wondering what makes me feel happy that I can do. And do you know, having a cup of coffee, a really delicious cup of coffee, especially in the morning, makes me feel happy. Reading a book makes me feel happy as well. Being transported into a different story. I wonder if you've done any reading in the last couple of weeks. I love reading books. And I always feel happier when the sun is shining. Do you? I'm always happier when it's sunny outside and I can feel the warmth of the sun on my skin. It's a funny time at the moment, isn't it? And I wonder what makes you feel happy that you can do at the moment. Maybe you'd like to think about it now or tell the person that you're watching with. What makes you feel happy? I hope you could think of something that makes you feel happy. There's a man in the Bible called Paul who wrote in a letter that he had discovered that he could find things that made him feel happy inside however life was going. Whether everything was really good or whether things were a bit trickier, he still could always find things to make him happy. And I want to encourage you to do that today, that maybe you can find things that make you happy, but maybe you need to look a little bit harder than sometimes. There was once a man called the knee-high man, and the knee-high man was not very happy. He wanted to be big and strong, and so one day the knee-high man went to see his friend Mr Horse. And he said to Mr. Horse, how can I be big and strong like you? And Mr. Horse said, you need to eat lots of corn and run and run and run. And that's what the knee high man did. He ate corn and he ate and he ate and he ate until his stomach hurt. And then he ran and he ran and he ran until his legs were sore. But he still wasn't any bigger. So Mr. Horse must have been wrong, thought the knee-high man. And so the knee-high man went to see his friend Mr. Bull. And he said to Mr. Bull, what should I do to be big and strong like you? And Mr. Bull said, eat grass and bellow as loudly as you can. And so the knee-high man did just that. He took some grass and he ate and he ate and he ate and he ate until his stomach hurt. And then he bellowed as loudly as he could. He bellowed all day and all night until his throat hurt. But he still wasn't big and he still wasn't strong and he didn't know what to do. Until one night he spotted in the tree Mr Owl and he remembered that Mr Owl is wise and knows everything and he said to Mr Owl, why can't I do the right things to be like Mr Horse and Mr Bull and be strong and be big? And the owl looked 
looked down at him and said, Why do you want to be big and strong? And the knee-high man said, Because when I get into a fight, I want to be able to win. And the owl said, When have you ever been in a fight? And the knee-high man said, Well, never. But, said the knee-high man, I want to be able to be tall and to be able to see right into the distance and I can't. And the owl said, but if you climb a tree, you'll be able to see even further than the horse and the further than Mr. Bull. And the knee-high man thought, hmm, he's right. And the owl finished by saying, Mr. Knee-high man, you want things that you don't need. You've got everything already that you need to be happy. And the knee-high man realised that everything that he already had was good enough. And he went away much, much happier. I wonder, in these times, what have you already got? Who have you already got? What can you do that you've already got that makes you feel happy? I hope you can do some of those things today. I'm going to finish with a prayer and you can pray it too and say amen if you like at the end as well. And it goes like this. Dear God, thank you for all the people, places and things that make me happy. Please would you help me to find happiness today. Amen. It's been so lovely to come and chat with you today. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.